Good morning, everybody. It's Dr. Galvin, uh, finishing up my weekend of uh, night shifts in the emergency department. Uh, I'm tired. It's been a long, long weekend. Now, luckily, not seeing as much COVID, still seeing some, but not nearly as much as we were, you know, even a month ago. So that's a blessing. Um, the vaccination programs really, I think, are starting to have an effect on what we're seeing here in the U.S. You know, in the past, we've kind of trailed Europe, you know, whatever, you know, kind of happened in Europe, then suddenly, you know, happened to a much greater extent here once things started ramping up and, and we, you know, we weren't doing such a great job of protecting ourselves. However, you know, in terms of vaccination, we're kind of really kicking everybody else's rear end. We are vaccinating huge numbers of people and we're starting to see spikes again in Europe that we have not really seen here. Now, I've been talking about my concerns about the variants and, you know, it's a little bit of a race. It's a race of us getting enough people who have either been vaccinated or have been already sick with the virus versus the rise of these new variants. And again, I think the jury's going to be out for at least another few weeks. I think if we can get through the next few weeks without major spikes, uh, I think we're going to be in very good shape to be, you know, getting at least the, you know, closer to some semblance of normal um, in the hopefully the near future. So, um, I'm, I'm again cautiously optimistic from what I'm seeing. Uh, there are some questions about uh, the AstraZeneca vaccine and blood clots. A couple of people have sent me. Well, first off, we don't, we aren't using the AstraZeneca um, vaccine in the United States, so nobody's getting it here. The other thing is, is that you know they have seen, I think, 15 deep blood or deep DBTs and 22 pulmonary emboli out of 17 million doses. Well, you've got to be careful about, you know, about applying cause, you know, causation to observation. Um, it's a little bit like saying, hey, I washed my car um, and a, you know, a, a bird did its business on the hood. Um, washing your car did not make the bird poop on your, uh, on it. Um, they're, they're independent things, but it's going to happen at, at some regularity. And when you give 17 million people a vaccination, then things are going to happen. They're going to have car accidents. They're going to die of other things. And it can be coincidence. And really, if you look at the numbers that are being reported right now for DBTs and that particular vaccine, it's at about the, it's below the level that you'd expect just naturally. So it could well be completely uh, coincidence. So I, I, I would be, you know, I, there are countries that are stopping to stopping use of that particular vaccine. I think that's a little, little bit of an overshot. And I don't think that you really can, the data really shows that it's causing blood clots. Maybe, you know, we've got to do more research into it, but it, it, it's happening at the rate of that you'd naturally expect these things to happen in a population that big. So, but again, not really a worry in the United States where we're now, I think, at 107 um, or 110 million doses of vaccine given. Um, as usual, our, our little anti-vax folks were, were active on the Facebook page uh, saying, you know, all this stuff. And again, I, I keep asking. I never get it. I, they keep posting videos um, of conspiracy theories. But I say, you know, provide us some data. It, you know, I always try to provide good scientific data for, for things that I say. Um, if there's a paper that shows that there have been huge side effects or people dying, um, please share it with us so that we can all assess it. Uh, a video does not count. One of the videos I was sent was done in Germany. It was probably before the um, any of the vaccines were even given. The four points the gentleman raised have been clearly disproven completely. It's nonsense. So anyway, we still got a bunch, bunch of people out there who don't believe in vaccinations. That's fine. At some point, though, you know, I, I, I'm curious what point, you know, 350 million vaccine doses worldwide or, or thereabouts with really no problems. At what point, you know, does an intelligent person say, you know what, maybe I'm wrong about this. Maybe I'm not, we're not seeing any of those side effects that people are claiming and maybe I need to change my mind. And, you know, I think I posted on the Facebook page something along the lines that, you know, there are um, two types of fools, those who um, can't change their mind and, and those who won't change their mind. And again, we're, you know, we're trying to share data here. I think the data is very good. Vaccines are, are pretty safe and they look like they're being very, very effective. 
Um, I'm rambling because it's been a long weekend. Um, it was three tough nights, uh, busy, busy, busy. So I'm going to uh, call it quits here for the night. Um, everybody be safe, wash your hands, wear your masks, look out for each other. We're, we're you know, we're getting through this. We're, we're, things are getting better. So um, if we can just hold off and, and don't open up things too quickly and let these variants jump all over us before we get adequate numbers of people vaccinated, I think that we're going to be looking at a, you know, very good summer for everybody. But, you know, we've been through this for a year, you know, a few more weeks uh, or even a month or two is not going to kill us. Um, if it prevents this from getting worse and us letting it to get back to our normal lives. Anyway, I'll talk to you soon. Good night, everybody.